All right, so check out this layout right here. Imagine we fed this layout as a screenshot, like a PNG, a static mockup, right to cursor, and we asked it to create a perfect representation in HTML and CSS of this layout. What do you think would happen? Well, typically in the past, it, we get a lot of things wrong. It would screw up the colors, it would screw up the layout, the alignment padding, and just make stuff up or omit stuff. But what's happening now is with the release of these models like Claude 4.5, they're getting better. And I'm gonna show you in this video the actual results from this layout, but also show you how you can get pixel perfect replication without touching HTML and CSS. So let me show you. Right here we have the actual layout in Figma, right? Now I've used auto layout, all that stuff. Let's say you just wanted to feed it a screenshot. All right, so what you would do is select the frame, come down here, click on export, and we're gonna make sure we choose 2X. We want it to be high resolution. You don't wanna feed it something that's like blurry and stuff because that's gonna screw it up even more so. So we're gonna hit export right here. I'm going to drag it here into cursor and notice I'm also using Claude 4.5 Sonnet with agent mode. Create a perfect representation of this layout in the browser. Make sure the main UI container is centered vertically and horizontally. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a shot and see what it actually produced. Ah, okay, so very interesting. Here is the result in the browser. Notice it is centered vertically and horizontally. It looks like it's pretty close in terms of the color, if not exact, but we do have some layout discrepancies like this section right here versus the original. Now, what's interesting is I, in preparation for this tutorial, I actually ran the same exact prompt and we got an even better result beforehand. Let me show you that. And here's the first time I ran that. As you can see, it did a much better job of actually matching it up. And so that's the kind of the ambiguous nature, the subjective nature of working with these LLMs. They can sometimes, when it comes to feeding it screenshots alone without extra metadata, it will kind of just hallucinate different things and you'll get different results. So what is the solution to this if you really want to be kind of like pixel perfect and you don't want to leave it you know, to the non-deterministic nature of the LLMs to kind of just guess at what's happening here? Well, what you would do, and this is what I advise now, is for people who understand how to use Figma, use Figma. Use the Figma MCP server, and I'll show you exactly what that process looks like. And you'll see that it will do pretty much a pixel perfect job of representing the same layout. So the way this works is here in Figma, we can see that we, I have everything in auto layout as it needs to be. I also have all the colors associated with color variables, as you can see here. And also, you see that we have variables attached to the different spacings that exist in the layout. So now what we can do is right down here, and this does require a paid Figma plan, we wanna to switch to dev mode, all right? And what this allows us to do is it passes along all this information as additional context. And it does a really, really good job at accurately translating the layout. So what I do is just select the overall frame, the whole layout, come over here, right click, copy link to selection. And we wanna make sure we come out here to our chat settings, tools and MCP, and I have a lot of MCP servers running right now. Let me get rid of some of these, there we go. You will see that we have Figma right here. Four, four tools, one prompt enabled. This is the new Figma MCP server, which is based on a remote location instead of local host. Now, once we have that, we've confirmed we're all ready to rock. We have our blank index 2.html. I'll create a new chat. And what I'm gonna do is paste in a link right here to the Figma file. And then I'm going to say, Using the Figma MCP server, create a pixel perfect translation of this layout to the browser using vanilla HTML and CSS. All right, that's all we have to do. Let's hit send and see what it does. And here we go. This is the actual result of what it looks like. And I have to say, it is pretty much perfect in terms of the translation from the actual design in Figma to the result in the browser. So if I hit back, we'll see you know, kind of what it did with the screenshot version. And it did actually a really good job. It just screwed up the layout here. 
If we fast forward here, this is what we would do now. Now, here's what my prediction is. I believe within a year, as soon as a year, more likely two, I would say maximum three, we will get to the point at which the AI will be good enough to take a screenshot of a complex layout and accurately translate it to the browser. Now, another thing I wanted to check, for instance, is this responsive? Yeah, it actually is responsive. What about the other version? I, don't, I did not tell it to make it responsive, but did it? Look at that. So yeah, it can actually handle things and make them automatically responsive as well. So my prediction stands. It will be responsive. It will be smart enough to make intelligent decisions like a front-end developer who's looking at a static mock-up and just be able to, oh, okay, I understand how this would logically collapse on smaller desk, you know, on smaller viewports. And we'll get to that point, which is kind of exciting because then you really don't have to worry about tokenizing everything, which you know, there's some people say you, you, you need to auto lay out everything. You have to have variables to everything. But when you're trying to work quickly, sometimes you don't want to have to do all that. You want to be speedy as fast as possible. So that's my prediction. We're going to get to a point where you can feed uh, actual screenshots and mockups and get a pixel perfect representation in the browser. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. I will see you all very soon with more videos. Goodbye.